Hi students, good afternoon. This is Ma'am Jane Leonardo de Assis, your ICT teacher. So, for today, I am going to discuss about the introduction to the world of computers. So, we will first discuss the history of computer. Hi guys! Hi guys. Welcome back sa ating channel, BM Squad Vlogs. At if bago lang kayo dito sa ating YouTube channel, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel guys and hit the notification bell para lagi updated sa mga bagong video uploads. In this educational video tutorial, we will teach you how to screen record your lesson or presentation with narration using MS PowerPoint on your laptop or desktop. At hindi lang to limited sa MS PowerPoint. Pwede rin screen record ang ibang applications or activities na ginagawa mo sa iyong computer. We know that there are many screen recording apps commercially out there, but we want to share this because some users tend to disregard this powerful feature that MS PowerPoint has. Reminder, this feature works only on PCs running MS PowerPoint 2016 and up and updated versions of MS PowerPoint 2013. So start na po tayo sa ating video tutorial. To record your computer screen with narration or audio using MS PowerPoint, do the following. So first, open your PowerPoint presentation or lesson that you want to screen record. So naready ko na po ito kanina. And then next is, create a new presentation by pressing Ctrl N on your keyboard. So bakit po tayo magkikreate ng new presentation? Para dito ma-save yung video or yung screen record natin. And then next step is, go to Insert tab and then click screen recording. So, i-minimize pa lang po muna natin yung PowerPoint presentation para makapag-focus tayo dito sa tinatawag na control dock na makikita dito sa top ng screen natin. Okay. So, bago tayo mag-start mag-screen recording, explain ko po muna yung mga buttons sa makikita nyo dito sa control dock. So, we have the record button, stop or pause button, select area button, audio button, and then yung record pointer button. So, dito tayo sa record button. When you click this button, it simply means that you want to start the recording. And then this one naman, um, kapag nag-start ka na ng recording, magkakaroon din dito ng uh, pause or stop button. Ang ibig sabihin ng pause button is to temporarily stop the recording. Yung stop button naman na pwede ninyong i-click kapag nag-record na kayo, ang ibig sabihin ay you want to end the recording. And then the third button in the control dock is yung select area button. So when you click the select area button, mapapansin niyo na magkakaroon ng cross-haired cursor or plus sign. Ang ibig sabihin nito ay uh, ready ka na para mag-select ng entire screen or portion of your screen na gusto mong screen record. Okay, so paano po natin gagawin yon? So, ang gagawin po natin ay i-click and drag lang natin mula doon sa upper left corner hanggang sa lower right corner ng ating screen para ma-select yung entire screen. Ibig sabihin, gusto natin na ma-screen record yung buong screen ng ating computer. Next naman is the audio button. So, ang ibig sabihin ng audio button ay gusto mo magkaroon ng voiceover or narration habang ikaw ay nag-screen record. And then, the last button is yung record pointer. Ang gamit naman ito ay para mag ka kung saan banda ka na ng screen habang nag-record. Okay. So, habang nag-screen record, huwag kayong mag-alala dahil mawawala itong control dock kapag nag-start na tayo ng recording. Kapag press natin itong record button, automatic pong mawawala itong control dock. Kapag gusto na natin mag-stop ng recording, itapat nyo lang ang cursor ng mouse sa top ng screen, kagaya nito, and then automatic pong lalabas itong control dock. Now, let's start recording. Click na natin yung record button. So, pag click natin yung record button, there will be a 3-second countdown before the screen recording starts. So, ayan. Ibig sabihin, nag-start na yon. So, open na natin yung MS PowerPoint. And then, pwede na natin i-run yung presentation by pressing uh, F5 on your keyboard. Or, click the slideshow button. So, pag ni na yung presentation, pwede rin kayong magsalita or mag-voice over narration para makapag-discuss kayo sa bawat slides ng inyong presentation. So, for example, in-next natin, um, mag-discuss kayo. Hello sa aking mga students, good morning! So, our lesson for today is about the introduction to the world of computers. So, ayan, nakapag-try na tayo mag-run ng slideshow at mag-screen record with narration or voiceover. Kapag halimbawa tapos na kayo sa inyong presentation, ang next na gagawin ay 
um, itapat lang yung inyong cursor ng mouse doon sa um, top ng screen, sa bandang taas ng screen, at talabas na ulit yung control dock. Pag lumabas na yung control dock, just click the stop button. Makikita ninyo na, render na or masisave na yung ating video or screen recording. So, tingnan, hanapin lang natin. Kasi nakaklik tong uh, slide na to kanina, kaya dito siya na-save. Pero pwede natin yung ilipat dun sa ating new presentation. So, i-click lang natin and then control X. Tapos, balik tayo sa ating new presentation. And then, control V or paste. Tapos, i-resize natin yan kasing laki ng ating slide. So, pwede nyo i-check or i-playback kung okay ba yung, yung inyong screen recording or narration. So, pwede natin i-run yan by pressing F5, tapos i-click natin yung play. Ayan, so inan ko na yung video. Uh, pwede nyo naman i-play yan or i-check yung inyong screen recording with narration hanggang dun sa dulo ng video. When you finish recording, the recording is now embedded on the slide you selected. Mapapansin kanina na dito siya na-save kasi dito ako nakaklik kanina. Pero kapag nag-stop na kayo ng recording, make sure na i-click ninyo yung slide na kung saan doon nyo gustong ilagay yung screen recording or yung recorded video ninyo. So, i-double-click natin yung video. You can also put uh, video styles. You can change the corrections, color, poster frame, reset design, and then pwede kang mag-change uh, ng shape, video shape, video border, video effects. You can also use this feature kung kailangan. Pwede ka rin mag-crop at pwede ka mag-change ng size. But nasa sa inyo po yun kung gusto nyo pa ninyong maglagay ng styles or effects sa inyong video. Pwede nyo rin i-trim yung inyong video. Just right-click the video and then may makikita kayo ditong options. Meron dyang style. Ito rin po yung kagaya ng pinakita ko kanina, yung video styles or parang frame. Then dito naman sa start, pag pinili ninyo yung automatically, ibig sabihin ay pag niran yung slideshow, automatic po mag start agad yung video. And then pag pinili natin yung on click, ibig sabihin kailangan nyo pang mag-click bago mag-start yung video. So, dito tayo sa trim. So, mapapansin po ninyo na merong green and red bars sa uh, unahan at dulo ng inyong video. Ang ibig sabihin po yan ay start and end time. Ibig sabihin, pag dinag mo to papunta sa kanan, doon mag start yung video. So, halimbawa, yung unang part ay nag ka pa lang ng slideshow. Pwede mo na pong itrim or tanggalin yon. And then, kapag naman gusto mong tanggalin yung last part kung saan uh, nag end ka ng video, pwede mo rin pong tanggalin or itrim yung part na yon. Kapag okay ka na sa pag-trim ng video, just click OK. So, nag-trim tayo kaya na bago yung cover. Okay, ngayon naman, to save the recording as MP4 or video format, right-click the picture or video, and then click Save Media As. You can now change the file name. So, ilalagay natin ay Lesson 1 Intro, intro to Computers. To Computers. Ayan. So, hanapin ang location kung saan isi-save yung screen recording or yung video na ginawa ninyo. So, isave lang natin halimbawa sa desktop and then click save. That's it. Sana po ay natuto kayo at na-enjoy ninyo ang video tutorial na to. At sana ay magamit nating mga teachers ang tutorial na ito para sa new normal setup or online teaching. Thank you so much po.